life for me. The, the Kraken leapt from the ocean bright, look out, me heart is your woe. And to the locker the sparrow can find, look out, me heart is your woe. Yo ho, yo ho, a pirate's life for me. A god is thought she's a sparrow safe, look out, me heart is your woe. And brought a blackguard back from the grave. Look out, me heart is yo ho. Yo ho, yo ho, a pirate's life for me. The flying Dutchman is on the hunt. Look out, me heart is yo ho. To punish a sparrow for his affront. Look out, me heart is yo ho. Yo ho, yo ho. Within the chest his secret sleeps, look out, me heart is your hoe. The heart of David Jones still beats, look out, me heart is your hoe. Yo ho, yo ho, a pirate's life for me. Yo ho, yo ho, a pirate's life for me. <laughs> Why are you so happy? Because we get to be pirates again. Yep, you always did like this world. How could anyone not? Still, it's a real shame we don't have a bigger ship. Got any idea where we're going? Where else? The edge of the world! Captain Sora! Huh? What ails ya, Mr. Goofy? The edge of the world! Aye! We're running out of sea, sir! Aye! We're running out of sea! <laughs> huh? Running out? out? We end up this time. We've been walking forever. I'm exhausted. Some pirates. We won't get anywhere without a ship. Hmm? A ship? This is Crab One! Oh boy! It, it is a ship! <laughs> <laughs> Sora? 
Huh? <laughs> Jack Sparrow! <sighs> Captain Jack Sparrow. Sure is. <laughs> hey, Jack, where are we? Oh. Belay that! Ship absconding! Huh? Help me catch the pearl before she gets away! <laughs> aye, aye, Captain. Jack! Mr. Gibbs! Aye, Captain. I thought so. I expect you're able to account for your actions, then. Sir? There's been a perpetual and virulent lack of discipline upon my vessel. Why? Sir, you're... You're in Davy Jones' locker, Captain. Hmm? Davy Jones' locker? I know that. I know where I am. And don't think I don't. I'm in Davy Jones' locker. Assuredly. Oh. Jack Sparrow. <gasps> Barbosa! Oh. Ah, Hector! It's been too long, hasn't it? Aye, Illa de Muerta, remember? You shot me. Hmm? Uh, no, I didn't. Sora, we meet again. Huh? It's lovely to see you all. Oh, Will, Elizabeth. Is something about you different? Yeah, you look all swashbuckly. Well, I've seen some adventures, but I never thought I'd... Hmm? You here. Speaking of, where exactly is here? What's all this about a locker? Davy Jones' locker. Jack neglected to repay a certain debt to Jones. So Jones sent the Kraken to devour Jack. And that's how he ended up here. Uh. Then... Davy Jones' locker... You're saying that we've gone beyond... Beyond the grave? Mm. And we're here to wrest Jack from his fate. Huh? Teodolma. Out and about, eh? You had an agreeable sense of the macabre to any delirium. <laughs> he thinks we're a hallucination. <laughs> Complete with these three masqueraders. Jack, this is real. We're here. We've come to rescue you. Huh? Have you now? That's very kind of you. But it would seem that as I possess a ship and you don't, you're the ones in need of rescuing, and I'm not sure as I'm in the mood. Jack! Cutler Beckett has the heart of Davy Jones. He controls the Flying Dutchman. He's taking over the seas, and he must be stopped. The Brethren caught his cald. Leave you people alone for just a minute, and look what happens. Everything's gone to pot. Hmm? I'm lost. What's going on? Well, um, sounds to me like this Beckett fella they mentioned is trying to conquer the ocean. Oh. Yeah, 
No conquerors. Listen, Jack. The world needs you back something fierce. And you need a crew. Why should I sail with any of you? Four of you have tried to annihilate me. Jack, we're on your side. Uh, so you are, mates. I never could have caught the pill without you. Sora, Donald, Goofy, you're hired. Yes. Now, as for the rest of you... Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Dolma, you're in. Gibbs, you can come. <laughs> Way anchor, all hands. Prepare to make sail. Jack, which way you going, Jack? Mm -hmm. <laughs> right then, Mr. Sora, the helm is yours, provided no. you oh. pass muster. Huh? See that island there, with the two peaks? Prove you can reach that, and the open sea is yours. Oh. <laughs> aye, aye. So, we do have a destination, right? Oh, I can't tell anymore. Shut up, just making it up. Hmm. 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 <laughs> Cast your fate with Jack Sparrow. And you'll soon be sharing in the wrath of Davy Jones. The guy Will mentioned? Who does he think he is, anyway? And what did Jack ever do to him? Truly. You don't know who Davy Jones be. And you say you be men of the sea. D um... Let's put it this way. We're from another sea. Hmm... Are you now? Jack and David Jones' fate be intertwined. Jones, him raise Jack's precious pearl from the depths and make Jack captain for 13 years. In exchange, Jack promised to give Jones him soul as payment. But 13 years pass. And Jack failed to return. <laughs> So Jones, him seen the Kraken to devour Jack, taking him and the Pearl back to the depths. But if Jones learn that witty Jack cheat that fate, him gonna punish Jack even worse. And Jack's friends too. <laughs> Are you um, talking about us? You mean that the Kraken's gonna eat us? Uh, let the Kraken have a crack. I ain't scared. Hmm, not scared at all. That be rare. Most men, dim run for land at the mention of the Kraken. Not you. But Jack be scared. He want to be free of his debt to Davy Jones. That's why him need the box. Box? Oh, it be a chest where David Jones lock away the part of him that hurt. The pain it caused him was too much to live with, but not enough to cause him to die. Oh. And what part of him is that? <laughs> Him hard. Oh, 
How does he do it? A creature absent a heart, and yet somehow able to keep existing. Not even my finest replica can claim that achievement. The secret must be in that box. I have to know what mysteries it contains. I believe our orders were to find the box and seize it. No more. Put a leash on that runaway curiosity. Always so short-sighted. Why would the organization seek me out just as soon as I was recompleted, if not to affirm my intellectual prowess and invest in my research? Every stride I make is a stride for all of us. Oh, really? And what exactly are we striding towards? Hmm? Luxord, do I detect a hint of treachery in your words? What? Don't be absurd. But to be clear, I serve the organization. I don't share your need to please Xemnas. He's good at wrapping you around his little finger. Always has been. Hmm. All I desire is the freedom to continue my research. Ansem the Wise refused to nurture my talents. So I cast my lot with Xemnas. With Xehanort, rather. Simple as that. I see. And you don't care how he uses your research? Not in the slightest. All that concerns me is that I complete the perfect human vessel. Mm -hmm. That's all well and good. But I know this world better than you. Kindly stay out of the way. Oh, of course. Considering those pests have shown up, I'd hardly get anything done. I already know what to do with the pests. Then you can resume your stuffy studies. Ah, huh. that's my boy. I'll be watching from the shadows then. Thanks, Jack. You could have warned us. Yeah, everything went topsy turvy and upsy downsy. Well, at least we're back in the land of the living. Never fear. All according to plan. But that be no reason to rest easy. Huh? A ship! I've never seen one like that. <gasps> Heartless! those fiends again don't impugn me honor why would i conspire with them but you did conspire with them could you discuss it later oh. huh Sure do wish we could get a little closer. What? What a war! We can't do that!
We can! Shoot me! Donald and Goofy! Protect the ship! I'll handle the Heartless! Donald? Goofy? Where are the others? After you fell, we came looking for you. I guess they must have kept going. Oh. And I was so happy that we got to see them again. That's eager to sail under Captain Jack Sparrow. Huh? Perhaps you'll consider an arrangement. One which requires nothing from you but information. Regarding the Brethren Court, no doubt. In exchange for fair compensation, square my debt with giants, guarantee my freedom. Of course. It's just good business. Were I in a divulgatory mood, what then might I divulge? Everything. Where are they meeting? What are their plans? Shall we? Shall we what? Some pirate won't get anywhere without a ship. So, let's go get one. Oh, <laughs> yes. <laughs> Sora and Jack sure are cut from the same cloth. Use that key to free me, Sora. And you have my most certain promise. I'll the power under sea you ever wish for be yours. Free her how? What's wrong? Huh? Oh, nothing really. I'm good. That seems suspiciously convenient. I'll check it out. Sorry. This can be dangerous. But Donald, no pirate worth his salt ignores treasure.
Huh? Find us, keep us. How'd he get here so fast? Mine, Sammy. Now, Sammy. Jack, you already have the Black Pearl. Aye, uh, to which this ship holds no candle. <laughs> Bus, take what you can, mate. Now then, my ship has a captain, but it does appear I'm in need of a crew. Suppose you'll have to do. Don't dawdle. Climb aboard. Um... Ready now, helmsman? Ready enough, Captain, but aren't we kind of trapped? Mm hmm? Now, Sora, I know you've made passage through straits far more dire than this. Just follow your heart's command. Oh. Hmm. That ship. It's the Hagris. Oh, but look, this time there's somebody aboard. Isn't that? Not the merry company I'd hoped for. Harley! A black coat. Of course. You back in the organization? Yes. Surprising, isn't it, that they do me the honor? Never count your cards until they've all been dealt. Jack, don't you give this creep the time of day. <laughs> Come now. Are you really so unsophisticated that you decline a gentlemanly conversation? What'd you say? Sora, oh. stand down. It's the code. Mustn't strike a pirate aboard ship. When said pirate offers to confabulate. Ah, yes. And how could I love games and contests without honoring the rules? Because only by winning fairly does victory have any savor at all. But, of course, the code is actually more guidelines than rules. Speak your piece. Hmm. I am looking for a box. A chest, perhaps. Mm. You know the one. Yes. Maybe. No, I know of a box. But said box is not a box you want to trifle with, mate. Trust me. Really? A wager, then. And of what nature would this wager be? What say we have a little race to that charming port town which you hold so dear? Port Royal. Yes. 
Whoever reaches it first is the victor. And the stakes? You tell me all about that chest. Against what? I will get you whatever it is you want. Hmm. Hmm. Done! Jack? Then we have an accord. Now, let us begin. All hands, prepare to make sail. But Jack... Drop canvas! Hey, Jack! With a will, lads! Jack, listen! What? Oh. You can't let him get his hands on that box. Do you really know whatever it is that he's looking for? Let's just say there's a potential possibility he wants the chest containing Davy Jones' heart. Does I have the foggiest notion why he'd covet the blighted thing? Is it a black box? This is more black than blue, so yes. Hmm. Do you think it's the one? Can be. And when in the race would keep it out of Organization 13's hands? Hey. <laughs> You're right. What are you three muttering on about? Basically, we need to win this race. Precisely. No purchase, no pay. You might have the makings of a pirate after all. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Lookouts, report! Starboard side, all clear! We got this one in the bag. The game isn't over until it's over. Magnificent. I salute you all, gentlemen. Mm, you're up to something. I love it! Perish the thought. I know when I've been outdone. You were outdone before you even started, mate. But I admire your conciliatory way of conceding defeat. Ah. Yes. Now, I believe I owe you your prize, but I neglected to ask what it is that you want. Perhaps you'll enlighten me. <laughs> Aye, that's easy. I want the chest that's aboard the Dutchman. No, Jack, don't tell him! Hmm? Really? Uh. Not good. Huh? <gasps> oh, Jack! Well, I didn't tell him which, Dutchman. You cracked him! Actually, I outwitted him. You knew he'd tell you where it was! 
<laughs> I've always been far more interested in the long game. Now let's see where it takes us. That is, if you stay a pace. After him. Nay, there's no point. Why not? The ship's listing near to scuppers from that cannon fire. She'll be needing repairs. Best make berth at Port Royal. What? Look for crabs. They all set her right. Crabs? Why crabs? Never mind the particulars, mate. The white crabs. Savvy? Mm. Aye, aye. Aye, that's all of them. Now, to my final task. Be back in a trice. Oh. There, mates. Fit to sail any sea. Now, Sora, one final inquiry. Is there any particular reason you wanted this ship? Mm. Mm. Yeah. To explore the seas. Free as the wind. Good answer. You are a pirate. Captain Sora. <laughs> but Jack, why do you keep saying final? Like you're leaving. Ah, uh, it's because this me has run his course, mate. This you? <laughs> I the surrogate me that the goddess of the sea sent here to help you lot. And of course, any me is still me. I may be duplicatable, but I'm always incomparable. The sea, she smiles upon us, Sora. And let's leave it at that, shall we? For now, the real me has a crucial engagement. At Shipwreck Cove, where the pirate brethren will meet Becca and his lot in battle to win back our freedom. Then let us help. No, it's for pirates to resolve, but not you, Sora. You're as free as the wind now, and far you'll go. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> So, Jack was showing us the way. I wonder if he did get cracked. Jack, he said it was the pirates' battle to fight. <laughs> but a fight for pirates... <laughs> ...is a fight for us! Come on, let's find the real Jack.
You made a deal with me, Jack, to deliver the pirates. And here they are. Don't be bashful. Step up. Claim your reward. <laughs> Sparrow, your debt to me is still to be satisfied. One hundred years in servitude aboard the Dutchman. As a start. That debt was paid, mate. You escaped. I propose an exchange. Hmm? Will leaves with us. And you can take Jack. Hmm? Hmm? Done. Undone. Done. Jack's one of the nine pirate lords. You have no right. King. Hmm. As you command, your nips. Scurvy blackguard! Uh. Uh, uh, uh. Easy there, mate. You wouldn't want to damage the leverage now, would you? Now. Advise your brethren. You can fight, and all of you will die, or you cannot fight, in which case only most of you will die. We will fight, and you will die. Third. Ah, you do know how to make good time. Yes, one must simply marvel at your celerity. But such compulsive behavior is eventually going to bring you nothing but sorrow. Lost him again! How are we gonna go after him? <laughs> right! He's plotting to swipe the chest in the heat of battle. To Shipwreck Cove! Fast! Hmm. Huh? Uh. Guy, 
guys! Are you okay? Sora... You're a welcome sight! We... Are you okay? Sora... You're a welcome sight! We... <sighs> Guys! Are you okay? Sora... Work. I, a fickle goddess, Calypso B. So what now? Nothing. Our final hope has failed us. Use that key to free me, Sora, and you have my most certain promise. I'll the power under sea you ever wish for, be yours. So. Tia Dalma was Calypso. She's the one who was helping us. And you know what? I think... that she might just be able to help us again. You can't give up now. We can all fight. Together. The sea belongs to everyone. Uh. Uh, uh. Hmm? I said that! Don't copy my expressions! Huh? You did? Sometimes it just goes in one ear and right out the other. Wait, really? Yes! It's not over. There's still hope for us. You will listen to me. Listen! The Brethren will still be looking here to us. To the Black Pearl to lead. And they will see free men and freedom! Our enemy will see the flash of our cannons and hear the ring of our swords, and they will see the courage of our hearts as we succeed and they fail. Gentlemen, hoist the colors. Hoist the colors! Hoist the colors! I knew it was you! So that's the Flying Dutchman. The chest Jack told you about has the heart of Davy Jones in it. There's no way it's the chest that you're looking for. 
No one knows what's in the chest we're looking for. If it's a black box, then we are to collect it. Simple as that. You don't know what's in it? Then why do you need it? How will you know you found it? <laughs> Got me. Regrettably, the higher-ups haven't deigned to tell us. But they did say the box contains hope. Huh? <laughs> That's all you'll get from me. Hmm. It's far too chaotic to find the box like this. Perhaps I'll remove that ship from the picture. So, you got what you want. Perhaps you're the better player among us. However, I must demand you give that to me. Cousin? You must be mistaken, mate. I'll not be giving you anything. <laughs> then I invoke the right of parley. No, nope. no parley. Look around. We're a little busy. And besides, I've already got all that I want, mate. <sighs> yep. Still works. Giant spider. Are you lost? Prisoners don't belong on deck. Your station is in the brig! <laughs> We're here! <laughs> <laughs> Tables have turned, mate. Hardly. <laughs> Just a few more nuggets to join my crew! Surrender? The chest! Hand it over! Jack! Stay out of this boy! Whoa! <laughs> You'll see no mess! 
say from me? That's why I brought this. <laughs> <laughs> Did you forget? Huh? I'm a harmless rat chop. <coughs> ah, love. A dreadful bond. And yet, so easily said. That's not true. I may still have a lot to learn about love, but I know what it means to share my heart with others. And it will take more than you to break a bond like that. <laughs> what does a whelp like you know about the heart? <laughs> a whelp has seen far more of the world than you know. <laughs> what of it? Tell me, William Turner. <laughs> Do you fear death? Do you? How disappointing. So this is all they meant when they said heart. We've been chasing the wrong box this whole time. Petty tonic. Holding life and death in the palm of one's hand? You're a cruel man, Jack Sparrow. Cruel is a matter of perspective. Is it? Save him? Part of the ship, part of the crew. The Dutchman must have a captain. Oh. Elizabeth, say goodbye. Thank goodness, Jack. The Armada's still out there. The Endeavor's coming up hard to starboard. And I think it's time we embrace that oldest and noblest of pirate traditions. Never actually been one for tradition. In we go! Hmm. It's nothing personal, Jack. It's just good business.
Flying Dutchman must have a captain. Just where Denouchy and Captain Turner must live in different worlds. One day ashore, ten years at sea. It's a steep price. Well... Your chariot awaits, Your Highness. Mrs. Turner. Take care. Jack. Hmm. Thank you. One day isn't enough time. Well, there's always enough time for hearts to say what's true. Sora. You know better than anyone. It only takes a moment to connect with your mates. With your hearties. Hmm. There's always enough time. And I'm going to find them. <laughs> 